Harper's uh, on uh, Capitol Hill just there in Washington, D.C. Let's get the Republican argument. And joining us live from Capitol Hill is Robert Pittenger. He's from North Carolina. Uh, Senator, thanks very much indeed for joining us. Uh, are you any nearer to a compromise? Well, we sure try. We're trying to be. We've had uh, three bills go over to the Senate. Uh, we're trying very hard to negotiate with the president. He seems to be very comfortable in negotiating with uh, uh, those states that, that sponsor terrorists and um, with Mr. Putin, but we'd like him to negotiate with us as well. We stayed here all weekend, waited uh, uh, for a response from them, not till late today. So uh, we're going to keep trying. But what we did today we thought was the, the prudent thing to do. We don't feel like it was right for... Uh, the government, uh, Congress, members of Congress to take that subsidy. Our members of the White House staff are secretaries of various departments. Uh, frankly, I'd given mine up this past summer and told my constituents that I was glad that we took a hold of that. It was the right thing to do. Uh, the individual mandate, why should big corporations uh, get the employer uh, de deference on when they, when they have to uh, be responsive to Obamacare and individuals, uh, normal Americans, don't have to do that. So we thought but, that was a good bill. But, uh, Senator, it is the Affordable Care Act. It's an act. It's already passed by you actually stymieing its progress and it's actually coming into action. Surely you're working unconstitutionally almost. Well, sure. I mean, what we're finding out, and the American people are finding out, really what's in the bill. Uh, Ms. Pelosi said, let's vote on it, get it passed, and then we'll read it. Well, the American people are learning of the tax burden involved. Uh, you know, they're learning what those premiums are now. In North Carolina, they're 2 to 300 percent. We're learning about companies that aren't hiring now. Uh, they're not hiring full-time employees. They're hiring part-time. It has a huge impact on our economy, and, and it's not right. And so we think it's fair that we, we take a look at this for a year. That's what we wanted. And, and then see, is this really going to work? Is this the best thing for America? Now that America really understands what's in the bill. Well, yeah, but the economy is, of course, the fulcrum of your arguments here, but 60% of personal bankruptcies in the U.S. are down to, well, health care, affordability issues, medical bills, in other words. How do you respond to that? Well, I respond that we have a, a slow economy right now, uh, growing at about 1.8%. Uh, we have still high unemployment. Uh, businesses are concerned about um, um, bringing on employees, staying under that threshold or under those minimum hours. Uh, yes, it is a death knell to our economy. It's the worst thing that can happen to small business and big business. And we think it's the right thing to take a long-term look, uh, look at this and see what's really best. Isn't actually a shutdown one of the worst things you could do as well? That could also shave off economic growth at a time when the U.S. economy is just about, just about recovering. It could send you back uh, into the slowdown that you've been suffering from for the last five years. Well, it sure is an anemic recovery, if you call it that. 175,000 jobs. Uh, when Ronald Reagan cut regulations and cut taxes, we had three or 400,000 jobs a month. One month, we had a million jobs. So it's hard-pressed to say we're at a, a strong recovery right now. Uh, I, I think we can do much better, and the regulatory impact of this bill is, is going to have a, a huge effect on slowing our economy. Senator, a question people have been asking is, where is the House Budget Committee Chairman, Paul Ryan? He's kept a very low profile during all this. You'd expect him to be a higher profile during such an event as uh, this, and uh, when you actually have a shutdown of parts of the U.S. government staring you in the face. Well, uh, Paul Ryan has voted uh, uh, with every single uh, bill and amendment that we passed. Uh, he has been supportive. Uh, he's been at every conference meeting, every leadership meeting. Uh, I think he's been very engaged. Senator, thank you very much indeed for joining us. Robert uh, Pettinger, oh, the Republican you. Senator, Good joining us from uh, Capitol Hill. Right, well.